So when you want to talk about misinformation, Mr. Snyder, you might actually look a little closer to American media if you don't like what they're saying. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Mr. Chairman, does Thank he have you. the opportunity to respond to the general lady? Sure. Yeah. I didn't ask him a okay. question, oh, her Mr. Raskin. Expired. You asked right. multiple questions. I did not Just ask mean, him a question. You certainly did. You said, did you see this? Time has expired. Gentle ladies, time has expired. Chair now recognizes Mr. Frost from Florida. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Before I get into it, it's interesting to hear my colleague just now talk about disavowing white supremacists. When in 2022, you she spoke at an event led by white supremacists and white nationalist Nick Fuentes, and when asked about it, doubled down on it and said, we're going to focus on people, not labels. So get out of here with that damn hypocrisy. And Dr. Snyder, I'm going to give you some time to respond. Go ahead. First of all, I'd like to thank the representative from Georgia by making clear with her comments and with her person that any discussion of political warfare has to include Russia, Ukraine, and America. Um, she's just demonstrated that point, I think, very powerfully. On the question of Nazis, I've written, written two books as a historian about Nazis and the Holocaust. On the question of Ukrainian nationalism, I am the leading scholar of that subject in North America and have been writing about it for 20 years. If the chamber is interested in the degree of far-right participation in Ukrainian politics, you can be assured that no far-right no far -right party has ever crossed 3% 3% in Ukrainian election. So of course there are bad people in every country, but by any comparative standard is a very small phenomenon. In Russia, on the other hand, the army includes openly Nazi formations, such as Rushic. The government itself is fascist in character, and it is carrying out a war which includes deportation of children by the tens of thousands, the open intention of destroying a state, as well as mass torture. So if we're looking for fascism, and if there is anyone who is sincerely concerned about halting fascism or racism, you would wish to halt Russia. From my colleague, and here's another tweet from the same colleague saying, anyone who votes to fund Ukraine is funding the most corrupt money scheme of any foreign war in our country's history. And if you look at where this is from, this is from the Strategic Cultural uh, Culture Foundation, an online journal run by a Russian intelligence service that has been sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury Department for election interference. So we see it passing through us, and not just with the colleague that just spoke, but with many of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. And what Russian propaganda won't tell you is most of the money allocated for Ukraine is actually spent in America. 90% of it going to Americans. And so are these American companies that support Ukraine, are these allegations based on evidence, Dr. Snyder? And if not, where do these allegations against President Zelensky and his cabinet come from? First of all, U.S. weapons are being used extremely efficiently on the Ukrainian battlefield. They're being audited in practice. Secondly, there is an American institution which does audit the way that is expended. Mm -hmm. Third of all, you're quite right. What the allocation of usually weapons that are about to be de decommissioned anyway to Ukraine means is that we spend more on modern weapons inside the United States, which is why the defense industry is generally in favor of it. This trope of Ukraine being corrupt with respect to the weapons comes from a handful of Russian sources. Um, there is no reason to think it. They're fighting for their lives. They're doing very well. Yeah, thank you so much. We gotta let that sink in. We have members of the United States Congress using Russian disinformation to discredit Ukraine and help Russia. And um, I yield back, thank you.